Good afternoon folks. Thanks for stopping by to my channel. And today I'm going to do another modification where I'm going to take the orange synthetic scales off of the sod buster here. And then uh, I'm also going to carve the spine. Maybe the blade too. I don't know. I'll see when I get there what I decide to do with it. But uh, I have some wood here that I want to put on it. This beautiful Bokut wood. And uh, this was a piece oh, by about a half an inch and I cut it in half so I can get a book match out of it. So it'll look identical on each side. So that's what I'm going to put on it. And uh, first order of play here, I'm going to show you how I take these scales off. And we'll go from there. Okay, I decided to uh, glue these uh, brass liners onto this wood that I'm going to use here. And uh, <clears throat> drill my holes out and then just cut out around it while it's glued to it. It makes it a lot more easier. These knives are fairly simple to do. It's just a matter of... Uh, Figuring it out. So, I'm going to go and drill these two here. There's one. Here's the other one. <laughs> okay, I'll change my bit and I'll be back. Okay, there we go. I got both of them uh, drilled out. Perfectly, the holes are where they need to be. Now I just go straight to the bandsaw and cut them out around the brass. Boy, does this wood stink.
Okay, there we go. See, I just cut just along the outside of about an eighth inch in a way. I'll cut the other one now and uh, be ready for the sander. Okay, a little recap of what I did. I took the wood and I traced out the liners on it where I wanted them to be, then I changed my mind. I actually put them back on there with super glue and super glued the liners onto the wood. Okay. Then I drilled out my holes the sizes I need. Okay. Then I went to the bandsaw and I cut within an eighth of an inch around the brass. And now I'm going to sand it right up to the brass. Just shy of it. Okay. This will probably be one of the easiest knives you ever modify when it comes to putting other materials on it. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we are they're sanded at this point if I wanted to and I just might you don't really need epoxy on these these the synthetics glued on but I'll use the epoxy get these epoxied on and then get ready to pin it back together and it's done once I finish it all and everything else so there's the two halves looks nice I love the grain pattern beautiful it's gonna be a beautiful knife okay I'm gonna continue sanding on this but what I want to do now is mimic the, the angle bevel which is about right there and trace this all the way around the knife or the scale, I'm sorry. And 
and that curve goes all the way up to the top so all I gotta do is take take this off to the line sand that down from the line all the way up to the brass line Keep doing this till I'm happy with it. I'm using the tip of my finger to transfer these lines as a guide. And I'll sand that down to the line. I'm holding about a 30 degree angle here to get it to about where I want it. Rest up by hand.
Okay. I'm about as done as I'm going to get them by hand or with the machine. And then I'm going to fine tune them now by hand. And I'll fine tune them and uh, and uh, get them ready for assembly, and then I'll uh, decide what I'm going to do with carving my blade. Okay, I've got my uh, spine here for this uh, side buster laid out. Again, I got it uh, every 10 millimeters all the way down and around. It goes all the way around. I'm going to carve this one to go all the way around the spine. So, I'll start by uh, carving out. What I have laid out now, what I'm going to do is what's called a S pattern. I think this would look pretty sharp on a side buster. Put my gloves on here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go on a slight angle with these. Just as you get them like halfway. Some pliers here. It is hot, so I won't touch it with my hand. <clears throat> Okay, you can see I got my slightly tapered in this direction every half an inch every one of these now I'm gonna do this one the same direction as that so this will start forming an S
Okay, I'll finish the rest of this and get back to you. Okay, now you can see I got all my curved cuts in. The direction the file is going is the direction that it was filed in. As I was filing, I started to turn it a little bit here, like this. Okay. I start out here to get the depth that I want on that angle. The angle there. And once I get that at the angle, then I'll turn it and just get a little bit deeper up that way. So if you see, these are going that way, and so are these, the same angle. Same angle, same angle. And that's done all the way down. Okay, now, turn this around. I'm going to make some cuts. They're going to go from here across, from here across, straight across, from there across, from there across, from there across. Okay, time for my straight across cuts. Make the S pattern. Try to be as accurate as you can on this. Now, <clears throat> you want to knock off these tops of the S's, round it off. I'm just using the cutting wheel that I made the lines with. It doesn't take much. In fact, I think it's a better idea to use a file. So I'm gonna try that. This is the first time I've done this pattern. I just like it. Okay, <clears throat> let me get a different file. Okay, I got a V-cut file here. I'm just gonna knock off the corners of these S's. See how this is gonna work. Of course, you can do this whole thing with files if you don't have a Dremel tool. You'll start out with that round file, making the mangled cuts.
Seems to be the ticket though, you get more control with it. Starting to look nice and curvy around the tops of the S's. Sorry about that. That ain't my light. <laughs> I think this is going to look very nice on that side buster. Something a little different, a little elegant. file here this one here it's kind of flat on one side and rounded on the other Difficulty getting this thing completely around. Okay, I'm going to finish this off and I'll show you the final results. Well, there it is, folks. <clears throat> Side buster. It's temporarily together. I got the spine carved. It's the S pattern. And it goes all the way around the tail to the bottom okay okay the second video I'm going to show you how I uh, sand her down and peen the pins in place and uh, give it a finish and this bad boy's done listen to that walk and talk nice snap oh yeah K side buster Yeah, so we'll finish her up tomorrow, and uh, I'll post it tomorrow, and uh, it's all done. It's beautiful. I love this wood. Love, love this wood. It's my favorite, one of my favorites. 
that integer maple and the uh, curly birch but uh, finish her up tomorrow thanks for watching folks please subscribe if you haven't yet stay tuned for the next video ring the bell for tomorrow's final video on this or just be looking for it on my on my youtube channel love it peace